Hello, and welcome to Automation. When was the last time you have heard of V16 Coupe, or really any vehicle with that kind of engine? Well, closest to it are W16 Bugatti engines. However, a few months ago they officially announced that a Bugatti Mistral will be the last one powered by it. So this is basically the end of uh, this line of engines. Anyway, V16s started appearing in 1930s and basically died off by the end of 1930s. Well, due to obvious reasons. Of course, few vehicles powered by it appeared now and then, but history of motorization does not know many cars like that, mostly due to its enormous size and fuel consumption. Fortunately, it does not concern us at all, as we will be experimenting with it here in Automation and later on in BMNG Drive. So, as you may have already noticed, today we will be making a modern V16 powered coupe. Wish me luck with fitting it in this MX-5 Miata body. Oh, and I'm going to try to stay reasonable with this build, so I am going to, at least to try, to not crank these quality sliders all the way up to plus 15. Still, I'm going with a uh, pretty light body, carbon fiber, monocoque, carbon fiber again, uh, longitudinal, of course, Otherwise, we will not fit uh, in any way this v V16 in there. I want a double wishbone and double wishbone in the back again. Now, let's go to the engine. We'll name it later on. 19 degree, V16. Magnesium. Dual overhead cam, 4 volts per, per cylinder. Uh, displacement. Uh, of course we have to make it smaller. I want it to high, uh, to rev quite high. So we will be going with uh, wide bore and small stroke. Uh, not going to turbo it though. I think 6 liters will be enough for this build. Like I said, we are going uh, for high RPM. This one will, I will tune a bit later. Uh, I'm going to aim at uh, 8000 RPM this time. Naturally aspirated, injection. Okay, so the good thing is it works without any tuning. Give me a bit of time to fiddle with it. Uh, we will see what I can come up with. Okay, as you can see I am done with uh, tuning the engine. Right now we are making up to 836 horsepower and 600 84 Newton meters. Uh, well, that is quite a lot for a car that's going to weigh, um, I think, about uh, 1000 kg. Um, okay, we haven't changed anything in terms of quality of the engine, of the pa of parts of the engine. It's all s uh, stock, let's say. It's still 6 liters. Um, Wide bore, low stroke, uh, compression 12 to 1, cam profile uh, very low, but I gave it uh, VVL, uh, very aggressive VVL at that. Uh, also, also it revs up to 10,000 RPM, mm, so it will sound quite nice. Again, no, no turbo, direct injection per cylinder race intake, uh, unleaded fuel, 100 octane, 
and that's all. The last thing I want to show you is uh, how it sounds. Well, what can I say? On low RPM it sounds like a freaking plane. Uh, I love this sound, really. So I guess now it's time to design this beast. As you can see, I took the liberty of uh, preparing this body a bit. Uh, I made this, this uh, darkish blue color, uh, changed the trim from plastic to body color. Also, I changed uh, the underbody from plastic to carbon fiber. Uh, as you can remember, we set it. Uh, this whole car uh, is made from carbon fiber. But I don't think I am going to make uh, everything from this material. It would uh, look strange, uh, at least in my opinion. I was having my fun with the front end for, I don't know, about 20 minutes now and I'm really happy with uh, how it turned out. Uh, I gave it this uh, really aggressive look, um, front lip, to define the uh, lower part of the body and these grills, two grills that uh, fit together quite well. You see this uh, central part that comes from the bottom part uh, to the upper part of the uh, front end. Uh, also I modified uh, the morphs of the body, G gave it a, li a little bit of fenders, uh, changed the back and the front uh, to define it uh, better. Well, I think uh, the front looks good and I am going to keep uh, it like that. I might add some things, but uh, definitely I will not remove anything from it. Well, I guess it's time to take care of the rest of that body. I'm having a lot of problems uh, when it comes to the rear end, per usual. I don't know, anything uh, like place there doesn't fit for me at all, uh, but what we have here, I think I will keep to it. Mm, I was doing some finishing touches, as you can see I have sunk the uh, name of the car into the rear brake light. I, I, I always uh, found these uh, kind of lights quite appealing, uh, the ones that stretch across the whole uh, width of uh, the body of the car, so I decided to put it in there too. Uh, there's also license plate, I don't know what I could do more to define this rear end, it's quite curved. Uh, no uh, tail wing is fitting there, It's uh, it all feels quite out of place, like this one. Like you can see it curves around and it... Uh, well, it's annoying, I don't know, when I uh, move it forward a, a little bit, it sticks out. And there's not much I can do about it. This morph is just like that, even if I uh, move it back, it still sticks out. Same with uh, these spoilers, they don't want to be placed at all, they just break like this. Yeah, so I guess I'm not uh, doing any wing on, on this car. It would use uh, one, for that's, that's for sure. Okay, now I broke it. We are back. 
Maybe this one. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I will be back in a second. After a bit of trial and error, I think I've got a look that I'm happy with. Well, not sure about this uh, spoiler here. But uh, overall, it looks quite good. Uh, I just added uh, some fins to fill the empty space on the back side and on the front. They look quite aerodynamic. This thing here, a scoop, I'm going to leave for sure. This one I was... Uh, I don't know, I was trying uh, something to place on the roof. So it's not completely empty. I quite like it. Uh, it stretches from the front. These two pieces. Straight to the back. But I'm going to remove this spoiler. I don't like it at all. Yeah. Mm, so. Only a few finishing touches left. And I guess I will be done with this build. Well. Also, I should do the interior. It shouldn't be empty like that. Mm. Okay. Let me add uh, the door handles, fuel cap and the mirrors. And I will be back. I'm about done with the inside of the car. I decided to give it a bench in the rear anyway. Well, it's coupe. Usually in coupes you have uh, this rear bench. Mm, so it will be there too. Um, I was thinking about the color, what to give it, or maybe changing it completely to something different, but I thought uh, it will be fine if, if the interior color will fit uh, the car overall so here we are uh, I <laughs> no, <laughs> this looks uh, outrageous uh, we'll keep it uh, like it was I'm not really good at making these interiors but I'm trying my best I haven't done many of them before well, there's always time to learn. Okay, uh, we can move forward, I think. I don't think I have forgotten about uh, any piece there. So, so let's move forward. Okay, onto the drivetrain we go. I don't know, uh, what should I make it? Uh, the reasonable choice would be all-wheel drive since uh, well it's ha it has a lot of power it will be close to one uh, hp per kilogram of uh, its weight so oh i don't know okay let's go rear wheel drive it will be much more fun to drive that's for sure dual clutch eight gears top speed uh, we will come back to it. Uh, I am going to give it electric LSD radials, uh, sports compound, and two 45s, both in the front and in the rear. And we are going to make them a little bit offset. Uh, that's the front. And the rear. Oh, you can't move it anymore. That's strange. Okay, well, we will be in need of using options here then.
rear tires offset. Let's go. Okay, it's fine. Same in the front. Hopefully it will not break the game. Uh, in game, in VMNG Drive, I mean. So I made this car very, very stiff. As you can see, we are deep into oversteer territory, but hopefully it will be driving pretty well. We have quite nice uh, cornering uh, Gs, uh, it's, so it should stick to high speeds at corners. We will see about that. Also, I haven't touched top speed yet. Uh, here's how the car, car looks with uh, modified brakes, tire size and all. It came out something unique, that's that's for sure. We'll see how it will export into BMNG. Also, uh, I made a little bit of an oopsie as uh, this is uh, convertible, so uh, we shouldn't have a rear bench here. Still, I'm going to keep it because uh, I think it looks nice, mm, but uh, where it was? Uh, we can't even uh, pick a uh, bench in the rear, so we are at automatic hard top and all of that good stuff. Uh, weight distribution, I haven't touched that yet, I haven't checked it even, oh, so it weighs 1300 kilos. That's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit more than I thought, but still we are making almost 850 horsepower that's a lot um, okay let's go and tune the uh, speed the gearing of the, it's this car and this is what we are at in terms of wheel spin well uh, we are spinning all the way into the third gear right now and uh, I'm going to keep it like that uh, final drive is at uh, 3.48 and that's why I set it uh, this top speed so high uh, estimated top speed is at uh, 411 and uh, limiter is at uh, 483 right now Mm, but as I said in previous video, I would like this game to have uh, gear tuning uh, per gear. I mean, what I mean by that is changing the ratios of individual gears. Uh, also, final drive. Well, we can modify this final drive right like that right now. So it changes the top speed. Mm, okay. I want it there. Spacing is okay. Well, I think we are done here. Brakes are all, all right. Oh, I haven't che checked and changed anything about the downforce. I don't. I'm not even sure if it exports into BMNG as it should. Well, okay, it's okay. Saplift, so like this. Cooling careful, I'm not going to mess with it. Stays like that. Raise diffuser. Okay, well, we are done. Uh, Oh, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so this is the final look of the car. Final stats. This is the way I'm going to export it. And I guess I see you in a bit in Beam NG Drive. Okay, right now we are in Beam NG Drive. Car exported without issues. It looks great, as in automation. It drives even better than it looks. It's uh, ultra fast. 
I don't know what to tell you. And I thought we will begin with trying it out on a drag strip. Well, as you can see, I turned off the ESC. Let's line it up and see what time we can make. Nine point three, pretty nice. As you can see, I already did it a few times. Uh, that's that's uh, the time about uh, it makes every time. Nothing fancy, but uh, what I have to say is this car makes me deaf. Quite literally, I had to turn down the volume of the game nearly to zero I don't know how it will come out on uh, on recording hopefully it will, won't be too loud and you will be able to hear everything well let's get on the track now here we are on the east coast track I don't know if I will be trying to do a uh, timed lap. I just want to show you how it drives around without ESC, of course. It wants to slide all over the place, all the time, basically. As you can see, I'm in constant slide. Still, it's quite fun to drive. As long as you won't go completely insane with the throttle, it is uh, drivable. I gave it 8 gears, now we are on 5th. And we are doing nearly 300 kilometers per hour. I don't know if we will be able to stop there. Okay. We did it. Let's see how it drives with ESC on. Let's go sport mode. And manual. Well, it's much, much better to... much easier to control. Obviously, but where's the fun in using traction control? It doesn't pick up speed as, as fast as it, it did without ESC. It constantly fights its throttle. Oh, like you can see, it blocked it completely. Refused to increase speed. But I was... Uh, I wasn't uh, really careful with, with it, right there. Jesus! <laughs> this car is insane! Okay, again, again, this long, nice straight. Here we won't have any issues, I'm sure. Yeah, it's fine. And again, we can't uh, we can't acce accelerate at all. <laughs> I guess there is one last thing to do. That is to check how fast really it will go. I bet it will get to 400 kilometers per hour easily, but to check it. We need to go to grid map and find a nice long straight somewhere where we won't be in any way capped. 
Uh, I destroyed it already. Okay. See you, see you in a bit on a grid map. Before we go for the top speed test, let's see if I did at least partially good job with the suspension. It feels stiff, but it could be even more. I think so, at least. Okay, let's check it. This is not the best place to check this low of a car. <laughs> well, it jumps all over it. You would need... <laughs> you would need to... To work on this suspension after a drive like that. <laughs> Front is completely destroyed. Radiator is leaking. Oh well. Here we are. We have a lot of space to pick up. Speed. Or even... Maybe reach that 400 km per hour. As you can see, we are. If if I'm keeping the throttle on all the time, pressed pedal to the metal, it spins uh, right away up to the fifth gear. Okay. I don't think we will make it here, sadly. Well. That's fine. We'll try again. Okay, let's go again. This time I'm sure we will make it. This car is really insane. And it looks so good. Three hundred thirty, forty, fifty. I wonder what it would be like if I turboed it. Maybe in another video I would try to make a variant of it that's turboed. But I think we'd need to change it quite a bit. Mm, looks like my gearing made it impossible to make for this car to make it to 400 km per hour. Oh well. Yeah, it caps at 378, no matter what I do. Sadly. Well, anyway, that will be all for, for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.